Happy Thursday. It's Facebook Live time. <laughs> Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. I'm so excited to be with you here today. It's been a couple of weeks, uh, I guess probably three weeks since I was last here. I was gone, as many of you know, to Italy and Greece, in Greece for the uh, Stampin' Up! Uh, Greek Isles incentive trip. So, uh, hi Cindy, <laughs> welcome. So just getting started, I have a bunch to cover today, so I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time, I'm just gonna launch right in. Hi Sally, welcome. So, um, so good to be back. I have announcements tonight, just things that are going on. I have updates about the, my Greek Isles incentive trip in Italy. I wanna show you all the goodies that I got. I'm so excited to share them. I've been sorting through them all and there's a lot. <laughs> So I'm gonna to try to go through it real quick, but just also give you the benefit of showing you all the lovely things that I got and um, just a little bit about the trip. Um, hi, Barb, hi, Carol, welcome. Uh, let's see, and then I also have a project demonstration. So, uh, so much to share, I can't even like, can't contain myself. <laughs> so excited. So, um, let's see, I am still wearing <laughs> my griddly shirt, as my daughter likes to call it. I haven't worn it the whole time, but I still am in sort of grease mode in my mind, so I'm gonna wear it tonight just to, um, to celebrate and show you all the goodies that I have. So I'm gonna launch into announcements, uh, just some quick ones. So you guys may know bonus days are going on right now. That means during the month of July, whenever you spend $50 in merchandise, you get a $5 coupon from Stampin' Up! that you get to spend in August. And you can accumulate as many as you want and you can use them however you want, but you have to spend them in August and you would get a coupon. So um, if you place an order, make sure to check your email, print out that coupon and um, you know make a note of it, keep it handy so you'll um, <clears throat> know where it is when it's time to uh, use it in August. I offer to my customers that they can forward me that email and I will keep track of it for them and make sure they're aware and have that uh, the coupon handy. So um, if you're a customer, just keep that in mind and let me know if you place an order, forward me that email if you wish. Uh, okay, so what else? Okay, so there's a starter kit promotion going on right now and it's actually going through the end of August, so it's super exciting. Uh, Stampin' Up! Did a, did a promotion last year for the starter kit in July only, but they didn't carry over to August. Now we go all the way to the end of August, which is so cool. So the starter kit is a great deal just to, to begin with. It's um, $99, you get $125 worth of product. It's free shipping, um, you do pay tax on it. But now during the special offer, you get an additional $30 in product. Um, and that's when you buy the starter kit. So you're gonna get $155 of product for $99. And then um, the month following the month that you join, you'll get a $10 coupon also. So that ends up being $66 worth of free product when you buy the starter kit now. So it's a really, really awesome deal if it's something you wanna try out and check out the whole demonstrator experience, which um, you know I love. <laughs> um, so many perks and benefits, both with Stampin' Up! and with me, this is a great time to join. So, okay, so that's announcement number two. Announcement number three is the new style embossing folders are now available. So anybody, if you have tried to order any of the uh, embossing folders in the catalog, some of them have not been available for a while now. And that's because Stampin' Up! is transitioning to this new style embossing folder. So there are six folders that are now available that haven't been for quite some time. And I wanna show you the difference between them. Um, I'll just grab this over here. So. Um, the old style, so this one is the subtle embossing folder and it's a 3D dynamic is what they call it. It's super thick and so um, the new style, and this is one of the new style, this is the scripty it's called. It's got some really cool script on there. This is the scripty. Now if you compare them side to side, side by side, let's see, let's get that a good, at a good angle. The, um, the old style is much wider than the new style. So they had to reconfigure that, they reconfigured that. And as a result, they created this new 3D embossing folder plate that you will need to use with um, the new style embossing folders. Um, you can also uh, kind of jimmy rig your own sort of thing, do a shim, if you know what I mean, just like a, a layer of uh, chipboard or cardstock or something like that, but you have to kind of play with it to get the thickness right um, so you don't damage anything in the process. So um, 
just words of the wise, those embossing folders are now available, but you have to use this or a shim. So that's announcement number three. And then the last announcement is, um, is that uh, there's a sales tax holiday going on in 12 states and the time frame ranges. Um, the first one starts tomorrow, it lasts like three, two to three days, three, four days, something like that. And then there's ones that go some into August. I can't remember what the end date is. I included this in my newsletter, but there's only 12 states that are participating. And I'm telling you this because some of the Stampin' Up! products are available through this sales tax holiday. So some of it you know, might be Stampin' Right markers or adhesives, things that would be considered school supplies. So they do it every year in some states um, to give you a tax break on school supplies. So uh, if you do get my newsletter, you could check that out. It has all the details about which states and also um, uh, what things are on sale. So that's my last announcement. Yay, get the business stuff out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully that's informative for you. Okay, so right on to the Greek Isles trip. So I had this amazing trip, Stampin' Up! just showers us with love and gifts the whole the whole time that we're there. Now, I was in Italy for the first week. Some of you may have followed me on Facebook. I shared some photos of my trip um, uh, in Italy with my family. We just had an amazing time. I'm so glad we took a week ahead of the, in the cruise because uh, we had a ball. But on the incentive trip, um, and I, I shared some on Facebook and I kind of petered out towards the end, just kind of got into being on vacation, right? <laughs> But um, I am hoping to get another, uh, get a blog post up or two with some more photos of the whole, all of our adventures. So what I wanted to share with you is just a little bit about what the incentive trip is. I, and then I'm going to, I'm going to show you like some of the gifts and goodies they gave us. And then I'm going to save some of the best things for last, like the Stampin' Up! products that they, that they gave us. Cause um, they gave us the holiday catalog, so we got to see that. That's one of the highlights, is that we get to see that holiday catalog. Let me show you a sneak peek of the cover. I can't actually show you inside, but this is the cover. <laughs> it's so fun. So much wonderful stuff in here. Um, so I'm going to be showing you some of the, the products that they gave us uh, from this new catalog um, before we're done today. So just to give you an idea of how things go, like they, they send us this little itinerary. It gives us a travel guide and suggestions for what to do each day. And then on our door, on our cruise ship door, everybody got this. And there were some in different languages because of course there are people from Germany and France and um, I'm, mostly those are the, the two countries where um, they also had different languages um, of that note on their door. So that was super fun, so great welcome. And then every night we get uh, pillow gifts on our bed, um, you know, surprise. And I included some of those photographs um, in my Facebook posts. Hi Fran, thank you, welcome. I mean, thank you for, yeah, welcoming me back. <laughs> um, and hi Neil, nice to have you here. Um, so let's see, so, th so there's pillow gifts and then we have a general session and they give us gifts at the general session as well. Prize patrols where some people win, you know, win prizes and some don't and then others where it's an all present giveaway and they did kind of announcements and uh, information for us as well as the Stampin' Up! Um, uh, leaders basically. So just to give you some perspective, um, the um, vacation is mixed with some organized gatherings. We have one make and take, a brief make and take, and lots of gifts, right? So it's not really a stamping event. It's more a, a vacation and collaborating with other demonstrators, enjoying each other, and being lavished with gifts. So that's kind of the, the basics of how the incentive trip it works, and it's all about having fun. Um, <clears throat> Just to give you the big picture, there are 56,000 demonstrators in nine countries throughout the world and only 430 demonstrators earned this trip. So it's really a, a major honor to have earned it. Um, and I'm super grateful for that uh, opportunity. Uh, 370 attended and in total there were about a thousand um, people from Stampin' Up! either demonstrators or their families or guests on the cruise ship. The cruise ship had about 2,500 people on it. So we made up a large fraction of the ship, which was super fun because we get to bump into, you know, people that we knew and get to know new people. And uh, it was really a blast. So, um, so I mentioned pillow gifts and then there's also a hospitality room that we get to go to every single day and spin for a prize. So this accumulation, this plethora of gifts and prizes and everything I'm going to show you today is an accumulation from that general session, from hospitality, from the pillow gifts on our beds. So much fun. So 
Um, let me start showing you stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna start with behind me. They gave us all kinds of fun bags, you know, so the gifts that they gave us had, you know, just fun bags and um, to hold the gifts in. So I'm just gonna quickly show you these. The first night, they gave us this really lovely leather bag. You can see the texture on it. It's really soft and supple. It's actually a backpack. You could use it as a uh, holding a bag you hold on to as well. Um, hi, Kathy. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome home. So this is a super awesome bag. And cute little canvas bag. So this one, of course, looks sort of like, well, Greece, Santorini in particular. And then this is one of my favorite bags because it's just so festive and fun. We took this to the beach one day, so you can see it's got uh, the scene, the Greece scene. Um, my camera is mirrored. What does that mean? Does that mean uh, that it's uh, showing everything backwards? Hmm. Okay, tell me. Let's see. What do I do to make it right? <laughs> um, is it backwards? Comment and let me know. Oh, yes, you like the bag. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Okay, well, just tell me if it, if, what mirrored means, and uh, I'll see if I can fix it. Okay, so then another thing they gave us was this lovely bag. Does anybody recognize the pattern on this bag? This is, um, uh, comment and let me know. I'm gonna show you inside. I'll give you guys a chance to comment. It's uh, a, a hint. There's something in the new annual catalog that it is uh, representative of. <laughs> so this is, uh, you know, like a, a craft carrying bag for organizing and, and uh, any crafter, most crafters love to organize. So this is a great, very organized bag. The words are backwards. Okay, yeah, I, okay. Um, I may try to fix it and I may just make you look at the words backwards. <laughs> I'm just afraid I'm gonna be on here all night long. I have so much to show you um, and I don't wanna mess with stuff. So um, let's see, we'll see. Once I get to the stamp sets, I might have to try to do that. So hmm. let's see if I can do this quick. Make it go reverse. Oh yes. Okay, that might be right here. So now you can tell me, does Greece look right? Am I, am I, uh, is it right now? Okay, so now I have to go get out of that. So, hi Jara, welcome. Okay, so somebody comment and let me know, is Greece looking correct? Can you actually read it? Because once I get to the stamp sets, I'm gonna want you to be able to read the titles. Oh, yay, thank you, Carol, thanks for commenting. Fabulous. Okay, so what else do I wanna show you? Uh, so those are the bags. Okay, so on each of the bags, I mean, just to give you an idea of how Stampin' Up! takes care of us and how lovely they are, on every single gift, there were these lovely labels and each with a sweet little, you know, adorable, perfect, darling, exquisite. There were some of the other ones, I just attached them to a piece of, uh, uh, Crumb cake cardstock because it coordinated with the color. <laughs> color coordination in everything, right? So um, somebody had to tie all those little bows, right? So for 370 people, you know, times how many gifts? Isn't Stampin' Up! awesome? I love Stampin' Up! <laughs> They're so great. Okay, so there's that. Now let's see what else. Non Stampin' Up! stuff. So they gave us this lovely Greek olive oil and it's organic. They know me well. <laughs> I love organic. Um, try to eat as much organic as I possibly can. Okay, what else now? Oh, yes. Now, it was very hot there, I'm going to tell you. It was not as hot as it is where I live. <laughs> so fortunately, it was okay. But we were outside a lot. And I do want to tell you, right, so we, you know, on the health app on my phone, I think the most stairs we had in one day, flights of stairs, 43 flights of stairs. So I'm just telling you, and five miles or so. So we did a lot of walking and going up and down. And if any of you guys saw our pictures from Italy, you'll understand because we were all these cities that we went through are like vertical. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I am so grateful that my body held up for this. My body did so well. Um, oh yes, authentic olive oil is the best. Oh, and you know what else? Okay, I have to just say, ha, -ha coffee. The Italian coffee is the best. Do we have any coffee fans out there? Comment if you're a coffee fan. Italy, I'm, I'm never gonna, I'm, I'm tainted for life. I love the Italian coffee. <laughs> so anyway, totally spoiled, totally spoiled. So anyway, we were, it was hot there. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because Stampin' Up! Us gave us an interesting gift. Not one they expected us to use on this trip, but it's a lovely gift. So it's this vest. It's very warm. I, when I was trying it on to figure out my size, because they let us do that, um, 
I was hot immediately. So anyway, it says, it has a little the grease symbol on the back, which is so nice. So anyway, lovely, lovely gift. And it's super soft too. So I can't wait, I can't wait for the winter so I can use it or at least the fall. <laughs> um, okay, moving along. What else to show you that's not stamping stuff? Okay, I think we're ready. You guys ready for stamping stuff? Of course you are. Okay, so I'm gonna start with little stuff. So they did give us some things that are current catalog product and even actually something that's retired. This um, glimmer paper. I also got some red glimmer paper. This is actually retired. I think that's the only thing that's retired. Um, they gave us on the first night these black dimensionals, okay? I was a little bit stumped, why black? Well, apparently some people think that when, when you're using a black piece of cardstock, it's nice to have the black underneath so you can't actually tell that it's there instead of being white. So new product, black uh, dimensionals, kind of cool. These um, gems, these are current in the, in the uh, catalog now, let's see. This um, striped ribbon, which goes with one of the product suites in the holiday catalog, diagonal striped ribbon. Another ribbon that's, um, these were things that we got um, when we spun the wheel in the hospitality room. Now they also had tons of candy in the hospitality room, which was super fun. Okay, so let's see. We also got this new ice stamped glitter. You guys can see that. And maybe you can look at the side. It's very kind of chunky. So it's the perfect kind of glitter for um, uh, like a shaker card. And there's a new product in there that makes a little dome for the shaker card. So a little hint, there's a very, very fun stamp set that does, um, you know, like a snow globe type uh, stamp set. So super fun. This, um, uh, these little embellishments, they're called brightly gleaming foil elements. Copper. Um, okay, there's one other thing I just discovered that is uh, actually not a stamping thing, but a lovely little gift that they gave us. This charm bracelet so it has the little um, grease image there and then is that backwards oh yeah and each of the little charms say inspire create and share so just really sweet and so I, I wonder if that means they're gonna be you know we're gonna have other charms that are available in the future so just a really nice gift and it came in this in this lovely little box <laughs> they know how to take care of the details this company does for sure. Okay, so moving along. How am I doing? You guys still, you guys liking what I'm showing? Comment and let me know what are the things that you like. Of course, I'm just starting to show stamping stuff. So we're getting to the good stuff now. So now this new paper is called Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. So it's actually plastic. Check that out. Can you see me through? <laughs> I know I'm such a goof. So there's two patterns to this. So um, let's see. You see the difference? Anyway, this is gonna be very fun to play with. I can see putting different colors in behind it. You could probably heat emboss on it. Um, so it should be very, very fun to play with. So anybody, mercury glass designer acetate. Fun, fun. Okay, moving right along. Okay, so one of the gifts I got as a prize patrol was, were these amazing um, dies. They're called ornate frames dies. They're very versatile. I think they're intended to coordinate with the Halloween suite, um, but I was so happy that I got these because they just wonderful frames and um, that I love. This was from Spinning the Wheel. I love this embossing folder. Check that out. Like, just love that. I think that's supposed to go with the Halloween suite too, but it's totally neutral. It could go with all kinds of stuff. Okay, stamp sets. Um, we got this one. Tags, tags, tags. So, hmm, there must be a punch that goes with that or a die. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So one stamp set. Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set. Cool, lots of Christmas stuff. This one I love, it's called Perfectly Plaid and it comes with a punch. Woohoo! so much fun. Who loves Christmas? Does anybody love Christmas? Um, my team and I are doing for our swap theme for this month, Christmas in July. So that's super fun. <laughs> so there's a stamp set in the catalog that coordinates with these lovely punches that they gave us. Um, these come together and you can get them as a bundle with the stamp set also. Love these ornaments. Oh, I see hearts. Somebody's doing hearts. Yay. <laughs> yes. 
love those punches. Okay, uh, moving right along. So I've got a few more things and then we'll go on to the project demonstration. I'm moving right through. How am I doing on time? Oh my gosh, taking so much time. <laughs> I hope you guys are still interested. Okay, so there's um, a new product medley. So we had this in, um, uh, in there's a few of these uh, in, I think, the annual catalog. They're called a product medley. It's a new thing where it's not a kit, but it has a variety of products in it that all coordinate. So this product medley is called Most Wonderful Time. It has a stamp set. It has these dies in it. And then um, it also comes with this lovely ribbon. Now this was the focus, well it's kind of not ribbon, I'm not even sure what to call this, um, but very fun for Christmas, comes with these. So they gave us this kit and we were given the opportunity to do these make and takes. So this kit has just gorgeous designer papers, I can't wait to show you the papers. Um, so it has little die cuts. So this all comes as like a set of items and the deer you know, our die cuts, so they come out. Um, there's the berries and then some, um, you know, whatever those are, candy canes and other things. So those are all die cuts, so you don't have to die cut them already because they're, they just, um, they're self-adhesive, so that makes it very convenient. And, uh, and then there's also this paper here. Now I stamped that image. I, the day that we did the make and takes, believe it or not, you're just gonna all fall down on the floor. I, I just like, I didn't want to make them at the moment. I was just distracted and I couldn't focus. <laughs> I think I was just having too much fun. So, um, but this is the, the product medley that it's based on is of course just gorgeous. So check out this paper. I don't even know how to show you this paper without, I guess I'll just show you one at a time. But it's all, has gold foil and each pattern is just gorgeous. Okay, how, how am I show this to you? So maybe I'll just turn it around and I was fanning through these and I just, so there we go, that's what I wanted to do. So check out the uh, um, presents, the, the goals, elements in there. Who loves this? Comment and let me know. Hey Monica, welcome. This is my sister-in-law. Yay, she's here. Okay, so I'm showing off some of the goodies that I got on the Greek Isles incentive trip. So this is just one of the kits that we got in the, the Christmas set. So just love that. What did you guys think of the paper? Did you get a, a good enough chance looking at it? I, I just, ah, I love that paper. It's gonna be so much fun to play with. Okay, so just one more stamp set and designer paper to show you, and then I'll move on to the project demonstration. So this is the last set that they gave us, 12 Christmas. Um, check out that cardinal, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> oh yay, Catherine likes the metallic Christmas paper, me too. Oh, you would love it too. <laughs> yes, uh, you commented, Sally. I remember that you loved that cardinal um, when I posted on um, when I was gone. Okay, so this is paper that coordinates with it, and it's really, really pretty paper. It's got um, these sort of Christmassy scenes in the background and the ginghams, and then on the back side, it's got the same patterns but all in the reds. Um, we actually had a, a project demonstration by somebody who showed this paper and she was so funny because she's from Australia and I think she said that she, she designed her cards so that it would cover up the animals because they didn't have that kind of animal in Australia. Anyway, it was very cute. <laughs> she was very cute. Okay, so that's everything. Everything. I think everything. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Um, Yes, so you must have the bird. That's gonna be fun to play with all that. I can't wait to play with it and create and show you guys stuff. So if there's anything that you absolutely love, just comment and let me know here. That would be very fun to know. So again, this is the holiday catalog. Demonstrators get to order from it starting August 1st as a pre-order. Customers get to order starting September 4th from this catalog. So um, it's a great time to join because then you can actually get in your starter kit things from this catalog. And incidentally, when you buy the starter kit, you can pick, pick everything. Nothing is chosen for you. So you can get whatever you want, which is so awesome. So if you join after August 1, then you can take advantage of the pre-order for your starter kit. So just word to the wise if you want to do that. All right, so who's ready for a project demonstration? Yes? <laughs> um, 
So now what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to show you one project and it's actually one of the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle projects for July. It's my project. Um, when will I be sending out the new catalog? Well, I can't even order them yet, but I can order them the beginning of August. Uh, I haven't actually thought about the timing, but I will try to get them out as soon as I get them in my hot little hands. So um, probably based upon the annual catalog, the second or third week in um, August is when I will send them out. Good question, Carol. <laughs> um, so let's see. And if you are a regular customer and you have purchased within the last six months, a minimum of $50, you will definitely get one of those holiday catalogs sent to you directly in the mail without even requesting it. So if you're not sure if you're going to get one and you want one, just let me know. All right. Um, okay. So the project, uh, this is the theme for July for the Simple Sweet Store. Yeah, boo, mouthful. Simple Sweet Stampers Tutorial Bundle, which is a bundle of eight tutorials. Um, I collaborate with um, seven other demonstrators. We each design a project and create a tutorial for it. And you can get it free with qualifying orders um, from me. Uh, my team members, my um, Chicks and Treehouse team members get it free every single month automatically. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to show you one project. Usually I'll show you mine plus two others, but because I had so much to share today, I'm going to save the other two projects until next week. So you can look forward to seeing those next week. Um, the theme for July is the Magnolia Lane product suite. So that's what my project is made with. And it's also made with um, a stamp set that you really don't see much of at all, but I, I think you're going to enjoy seeing me use it today. It's the Artisan Textures stamp set. So this is you know, really versatile for a bunch of different things. And um, you might not know, like, what do you do with that? Well, you're going to find out some options to today. So um, the Magnolia Lane, uh, it's called Good Morning Magnolia, actually, the stamp set. You might be familiar with it. It's been very popular on Pinterest. Probably see more examples of this than anything else. People seem to love it um, in general. And I have actually, have I, I guess I've shown some things with this as well. So we're going to be using that image and a sentiment from this set. And I'm going to start by facing the ca camera down. So give me one sec to fix that, to change the orientation. Let's see. Okay. Get it set up with my lights. Oh my. Am I still oriented right? My phone just told me that something about, I might mess me up. Okay, it looks right to me. Does it look right to all you guys? Alrighty. So, let's bring these materials in. And I have my camera a little bit closer to my workspace than I did um, last week. There were some problems, I think, seeing me last week, and I was also coloring, doing some coloring projects, so it was hard to hear me because I was facing down, so I apologize for those of you who could not hear me. Um, uh, I'm going to try to do better today, but it should be a little bit easier because coloring in, you know, you just naturally have to look down at what you're doing. When I'm putting things together, it's a little easier to, um, to not be so close and, uh, and to be closer to the phone um, so that my voice is caring. So anyway, hopefully that won't happen today, but please let me know if you can't hear me at any point or if I need to zoom in or anything. I, I always appreciate your feedback. Okay, so we're going to start with my little itty bitty focal piece. We're using um, uh, the shimmer white paper. It's almost a little bit of an off white. It's sort of in between the vanilla and the whisper white as far as the color. And I'm going to start with my Memento um, ink. And I'm going to do what I like to call, um, let's see, what did I call it? <laughs> I have to remember. Um, coloring in with stamps. That's what it is. That's what I'm calling it. So I'm going to start by stamping my image. So this is like the quick way to color in. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. I'm going to stamp my little image to start with. I think I did that at a weird angle, but we'll see. And now I'm stamping my thinking of you, also from the, um, what is it called? Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. It's from the Magnolia Lane Suite, so I want to always want to call it 
the Magnolia Lane stamp set. <laughs> Anybody else do stuff like that? Okay. So now I've stamped my two main images. And then I'm going to use my Seaside Spray, one of the new in colors. And this is where the coloring in comes from because I'm going to use this little image right here that I showed you before from the Artisan Textures set. And um, I'm just going to ink that up. And I'm literally going to stamp over just what the, what the, where the flower is. And it's kind of like I colored it in. Now that's the fastest coloring in you've ever seen, right? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> now you're all going to want that Artisan Texture stamp set because it's so versatile. I just love it. Okay, so now I'm going to use another one of my images from Artisan Textures and my Mint Macaron. So there's another of the images. And I'm just going to stamp that here and abouts using first ink, second ink, third ink. I'm going to do a little bit of first ink up here just to kind of balance things out. Stamp off. Do a little bit here and there down at the bottom. So now the idea of this is I want to get some of the green on those leaves. So I'm kind of quote-unquote, coloring in the leaves just by stamping. And it just kind of gives you the feel of it, but not it's not as much work as, um, you know, using colored pencils or watercoloring or anything like that. So super quick and easy. Alrighty. Um, how many people out there actually have the Magnolia Lane set? My camera's mirrored again? Okay, that's really weird. It's okay. You can read backwards. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm so glad. Um, I could actually mirror it again. Let's see. Let's try that. Why would it have slipped back? I don't understand. Let's try it. So, let's see. Is that better? Is that going the right way? Somebody comment and let me know. Alrighty. I'm getting pretty good at, like, finding the right button to press. This Facebook stuff. Alright, so that's kind of my basic thing. Now, I did actually stamp it kind of not really the way I intended. So guess what? I did the backside also. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. Oh, it's better. Perfect. Good. Thank you so much for commenting and letting me know. Letting me know it's good. Okay. So now I'm just going to put this card together. And uh, let's see. Which one do I like better? Hmm? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to go with that one. So you guys know I always stamp on the back side. I'm always like experimenting with, okay, which one do I like better? Let's try it one way, let's try it another way, and then I get to pick which my favorite is. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on its backing, just a piece of basic black. And then this layer actually has dimensionals on the back side. Oh my, what did I do here? Shoot, I thought this was one of my plasticized pieces, but guess what? One side is plasticized and one is not. So that didn't work very well. Dang. <laughs> oh, I just want you guys to get a little chuckle. I do this especially for you. Okay, so now all the adhesive from these guys is gone because it came off on here. So when you're using this little method that I use of the plasticized sheet, you have to make sure to use the side that actually has the, the sheen on it, not the other side. This is how we learn. Learn by our mistakes. So I, I always do, I do that what I do, um, putting it on those just to save time so you don't have to watch me doing exactly what I'm doing right now, messing with getting the backings off of these dimensionals. But you're chuckling at me right now, so I figure, you know. <laughs> if I made you laugh today, that's good. Okay, now this one, oh, shoot. I did the same thing on here. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I might just have to, like, show you the done card instead of showing you this. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, that one's getting thrown away. <laughs> We're going to mess with that later. Um, too funny. Okay, so I'm going to show you the other parts of this, and then I'll show you the finished card, and then I'll just have to mess with another piece of cardstock later because, you know, things happen. Okay, so now this one. Did I do this one right? Okay, this is the shiny side. I did it right on this one. Yay. I'm happy. So happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this thing that we call a, a faux, faux tie. And I need some glue dots. 
So I'm going to take some of my Mint Macaron uh, ribbon. Just going to put a glue dot on each end. And then I'm just wrapping it around the bottom of this. Now I would normally be gauging my sizing with my focal piece, but because I don't have a focal piece to use, because that piece of mint macaron was toast, <laughs> I'm just going to gauge that. And then I would be putting some adhesive on. I already have adhesive on the back here. And then I'd just be putting some on the bottom. And by the magic of TV, um, uh, and a couple additional pieces of stamping. Okay, so I'm going to stamp one more thing. <laughs> on this piece of Seaside Spray, I'm using another one of my images from the Artisan Textures, and I'm just going to stamp that repeatedly on the edges, and then I'll be ready to show you the final card. So I'm just going to do that a bunch. And again, I'm doing first and second and third inking, actually just first and second just to get a little bit of that edge. So that's all I did on there. Okay, finished card, Magic of TV. And there it is, voila, all done. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yay, I'm glad I made you chuckle, Carol. <laughs> Certainly making myself laugh at myself. Okay, so now if I were doing the faux tie thing, just so I can finish that thought, I'd be taking my ribbon and just, uh, tying a little knot. I like to leave the ribbon on the roll just when I'm doing this step, only because you you have the whole end to use and you don't waste as much ribbon. So just tie that nice and tight. And then I like to hold the knot itself and train my tails and then just snip off those ends. And there we go. So that would be this piece that's in back, and it's just attached flat on there, except for the focal piece, which is attached with dimensionals. So that's my card. Now, I did want to also show you that you could do this focal piece a little bit differently if you wanted to. Now, I did a couple of, of the flowers um, in a couple different ways, so I'm going to show you those. So this one I used the blends alcohol markers and used a combination of um, the Rich Razzleberry and the Highland Heather. And I think this was Granny Apple Green. Now this doesn't go with this color scheme, of course, but it was very fun to play with this and I could do this same design in this color scheme and it would probably look really pretty. And then this one, because I used the shimmer white cardstock, um, I watercolored this uh, in the same colors. Um, in the seaside spray and the mint macaron. So that kind of steps it up a bit, um, makes it a little bit more work. This is die cut with the coordinating dies that go with the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And the stamp set, of course, and the dies come as a bundle if you want them. So it gives you a 10% discount, which is pretty cool. Now, um, where is the other thing that I had? So I was gonna actually do a little bit of coloring with my blends. Oh, here they are. So now this is done with watercolor, and I think that turned out really pretty. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you for the welcome back. Uh, it's good to be back. There's nothing, you know, there's no place like home, like they say, right? Your own bed, your own things, space. Um, the cruise was amazing, but you know, you're in a very small little space. So here is a, an embossed in black, that same image, right? That's what I did with this one. This is heat embossed with black. This one's watercolored with an aqua painter. Now for this one, since last week I was, um, let's see, people couldn't see very well and couldn't hear. I had several people complain about that when I was doing the blends alcohol markers. Now, this still seems pretty far away and I'm as close as my camera will let me go. Actually, maybe I can go down a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna do the, um, the coloring and see if, um, try to make sure that you guys can hear me better and see better. So let's see if I can get this down further. There, a little bit closer. And this is, this flower is pretty small, so I should be able to do it pretty quick with my blend. So I don't have um, mint macaron and seaside spray 
um, blends. So what I'm, I'm going to kind of just fudge this a little bit. I'm going to use my uh, pool party for the um, for the leaves. Now checking in with you guys. Am I close enough? And can you hear me? <laughs> the trick is talking up while I'm looking down. That's like a serious trick, I think, because I don't know how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to check in every once in a while and see if you guys can still hear me. So comment if you're having trouble hearing me. So I'm starting with my dark pool party, and I'm just going to do a little bit of the dark on select spots on the leaves. And then we're going to see how this looks on the on the focal piece and decide if it's uh, the colors are good enough to fudge. Uh, okay, good. Oh, Fran, you can hear me. Good. I, it's quite a bit closer, so I can actually look up and see the screen every once in a while without having to stand up. Okay. So this is kind of a small space, so you don't really see the blending as much. But on the flower, we should be able to see a little bit more. Okay, so that's all for the pool party. So the other thing about coloring, I don't know about you guys, but I get very uh, focused. So it's, uh, it's a little bit harder to demonstrate um, coloring because I just want to get quiet. I think maybe that's why people like coloring because <laughs> they get to just kind of focus and be quiet. So I'm starting with my dark Knight of Navy and I'm just doing a little bit on the edges and now I'm going to come in with my light and I'm trying to just do a little bit of this navy because it's pretty, it's quite a dark color. So just the littlest bit. Okay, and then I'm using for the light blues, I'm using my balmy blue. So I'm going to start with the darker ones so it um, kind of connects with the, the light night of navy. So once I get this first layer of color on, you're going to see that there are kind of lines, right? So the trick with using the blends alcohol markers is to blend those lines. Okay, let's come in with the light balmy blue now. I'm going to color the rest of it with the light. You guys still hear me? Oh, I'm all, I'm all wonky. I got all... <laughs> The camera's all tilted. Okay, let's fix that. Decided it wanted to start slipping down. Um, okay, so coming in with my light balmy blue, just filling in the rest. And then, that's all the sort of bulk work. Now, I'm gonna go back in with my light, this light color next to where the light and the dark meet. And that's where I'm essentially putting on a third, I'm creating a third uh, shade of the, the balmy blue, if that makes any sense, um, by adding another layer of the color. So I'm going to then go back with my, let's see, with the, where am I? The dark, that's right, now the dark uh, balmy blue at where the, um, where the light night of navy meets the dark balmy blue. Kind of blend those lines a little bit by, again, adding a third shade, if you will, or maybe it's a fourth shade. Okay. So I'm getting quiet again, concentrating, focusing. <laughs> Okay, I can't see your comments because I'm looking down and my camera's doing wonky stuff again. Jeez. Okay, let's get me straight again. Hi, Dina. <laughs> nice to see you here. Okay, so I'm going to um, stop with my color for a sec and I'm going to come in with my color lifter and do a little bit more of the blending. So I'm going to go where the, the colors meet, wherever I see kind of lines that I don't want to be hard lines. I'm going to come in with my color.
color lifter to try to blend those lines a little. Sometimes if, you, if you're doing a bigger area, you can tell that the color lifter just kind of models the, the colors a little, gives it some texture. Okay, I think I might be close to done on that one. I'll do a little bit more of the light balmy blue. Barely touching. Little touch-ups. I don't want it to look a little bit lighter right there. Okay. I think I'm done, except for I need a little more green or whatever this color is. Pool party. Okay, now I'm done with my coloring. What do you guys think? Could you hear better? I might need a little bit more. Okay, this is where I start fiddling. I did the same thing last, last well, two weeks ago, whenever it was, three weeks ago. I just keep fiddling and playing with it. <laughs> But fun. Okay, so now we're going to put it up against my card and see, do the colors still, do colors work? Yeah, actually, I think they might. So I just need to die cut that out. And then what I will do is um, I'll put this on my blog. I'll do a blog post that's going to go up tomorrow, just like I always do. And the video will be there. And then photographs of the card with dimensions and supplies and all the good details. So you'll be able to recreate it if you want. I'm going to turn the camera to face me for one sec before I finish up. And let's see. I got to go multiple adjustments here so that you're not just seeing the top of my head. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. All right. So I hope that that was a better demonstration of coloring with the blends. And then last week, um, or two weeks ago, and I'm getting this is got all these things to adjust. <laughs> I need an easier way to fix this darn camera. Okay. So, um, anyway, hope you, hope you enjoyed that and uh, the coloring and definitely check out my blog tomorrow. Um, that post will go live, uh, sometime during the day. It will just depend. I actually have my clubs, my club groups meeting tomorrow. So, um, have them in the morning and then, um, so anyway, I'll get it up as soon as I can. And uh, just remember, the starter kit special is going on. It's an awesome special. And what else? And if, when you buy in July, you get those $5 coupons. Um, and, uh, oh, good, Carol. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Glad to know you could hear and see better. Um, <clears throat> so you can check out the photos on my blog tomorrow when it's all set. So um, as always, let me know if you have questions, you have comments, feedback. Um, it's so good to be back, and thank you so much for joining in today. And um, come back next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for my next Facebook Live. Um, so have a great evening, everybody, and happy crafting. <laughs>